Hey, it's Patrick Riley for HazyStudio.com here with a tutorial on how to turn a person into a vampire using Photoshop, of course, because turning someone into a vampire probably is impossible. Sort of like vampires falling in love isn't really possible. But anyways, this is what we will be making. So to get started, we will need to get the stock photo from stock exchange and to get the image you're just gonna need to uh, register it only takes a couple minutes you know we can either just hit download or I'll just click on it right click copy and switch on back over to Photoshop and hit file new and for the name we will name it vamp underscore two and hit Command or Control V, Command or Control S to save. Come on down here, click on the background layer, click Delete, uh, clear out that. We'll name this Girl, and to get started, we will. Uh, right click on it and hit duplicate layer and we'll name it this one fangs that's what vampires have right fangs or not really sure anyways the start it will come up here go to filter liquify give it a second to load up I'm sorry I'm a little sick right now but anyways come over here grab the zoom tool draw a zoom box around the mouth grab the forward warp tool come on down here Use the bracket keys to maybe scale it up a bit and just drag these teeth out. And maybe a little bit more. And to sharpen them, you're going to use the pucker tool. And we will just sort of click to, you know, get them a little bit sharper because vampire with dull teeth. It's going to be a vampire having a bad day. Let's see. And maybe grab the forward warp tool again and drag this one out some more. And for the sake of the tutorial, that looks alright. You can keep tinkering yourself. And for the next step, we'll come down to the girl layer, right click duplicate layer and go ahead and name this one tongue the reason uh, we're adding the tongue layer is because if you zoom in oops sorry it's too much it's showing some grid if uh, you zoom in like this you'll see just some warp on the tongue and that's just doesn't look very good so just come back up to the fangs layer and come down here and hit the mask tool click on the mask and then what you're going to want to do is get the magic wand and select the teeth and just click on one of them uh, tolerance 32 works so no need to tinker with that uh, shift click to add more and just try and get as much of the teeth as you can and try to not get the tongue in here. If you get the gums or anything above it, it's all right, just not the tongue. So space, drag over, uh, shift click, shift click, Oops, see, now that got the tongue, so we'll command or control Z. All right, let's see if I can. All right, now we will go up to uh, Refine Edge, contract it maybe, or expand, uh, maybe to let's see, maybe, maybe 40 in Feather looks good at 1.6. Everything else should look like that. Click OK, and click on the fangs mask make sure it's still selected make sure your foreground is um, black 
Now what you're going to want to do is right click, um, select inverse, and hit alt backspace or delete and you can see that got rid of it if I undo you can see it's there and if I um, redo it's gone it looks a lot better so now we can move on I'm just gonna command or control save and so far so good now we'll be moving on to the next step alright and the next step we will be sort of uh, taking the color out but as you can see we don't take it completely out it's not a full black and white down here there's still some color it's just sort of drained so to do this I just came down here to the adjustment layers and went up to human saturation and just brought the saturation uh, down to let's see probably a 70 and in its layer mask I grabbed the paintbrush tool and made sure I was on black and just sorta let me zoom in here commander control plus and just sorta with a soft brush painted it back in with a hardness of like 15 because with a soft brush as you can see it just sort of feathers around the edge and if you were just using a hard brush it wouldn't blend as good so just with a softer brush just sort of come in and paint the color back in our lips using the bracket keys to adjust every once in a while make this one even smaller alright space drag if you notice what this uh, did was uh, the white is where the effect is applied and the black is where it's not applied same thing with down here um, everything in the white was the only thing that was shown through the mask and everything in the black was covered